Love Story started five years ago when we locked eyes at the bottom of my staircase in my Tampa apartment. He greeted me with the most perfect smile and said, Hi, I'm Manny. And I thought to myself, Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, love will bring you to your knees to sow seeds of grace. From there, we both took a crazy leap of faith after two months of dating. We said I love you and embarked on a year-long distance relationship. It was the hardest year, but it was worth it. When I saw you come off that airplane covered in so much hair, I wasn't sure it was you. The following years, our relationship has become deeper, and I've turned into someone that really understands how you can love someone more each day. And I place my veins inside your dreams to woo you while you sleep. There are many phrases in the world, but the only one that expresses how I feel about you is I love you. You make the blood pour out through my veins. You are the reason my heart beats. It's an unexplainable sensation, a high that no drug can produce but you. Your humble and giving personality helps me feel safe and allows me to accept the most important gift you've given me. And no, it's not the vacations, expensive gifts, or even the ring on my finger, but the gift of self-worth and how to truly trust and open up to someone. You make me feel worthy, loved, and above all else, the happiest I've ever been. I know I don't have to walk the rest of my life alone, but with a partner that loves and appreciates me endlessly. You are the first and last thing on my mind every day, and don't even get me started on how <laughs> indescribable your beauty is. How could there not be a God to make someone so perfect for me? Your infectious personality and let's be honest, your amazing hair, style, and thick manly beard won me over. I see every day your ability to light up a room and how you go out of your way to make anyone feel special, even if you just met them. It's really is a trait that makes me adore you even more. Welcome family, friends, and loved ones. We are gathered here today, surrounded by the beauty of creation and nurtured by the sights and sounds and feels of nature to celebrate the wedding of Jennifer and Manny. Mama Bear, I love you, and I vow to keep loving you, even when you have one too many margaritas. I promise to always stick by your side through the good times and the bad. Today I vow to always respect you, love, and work on being as patient as I can with you. I promise to always be honest with you and learn how to cook and make your food spicier. Yes. And I promise to try harder to look for things around the house, like the mustard or my wallet and even try harder to put my clothes in the hamper.
I also <gasps> promise to help you find things, even if they are right in front of you. <laughs> all right. I promise to keep flirting with you and annoying all our friends with our baby talk. I promise to buy you Dr. Pepper every morning you wake up with a hangover and go to Valrita's with you at least once a month. I vow to hold your hand through the hardships and the celebrations in our lives, and I vow to always show up for you. You will always be my papa bear and now my husband. I can't wait to celebrate today with you in company with all our family and friends. But more importantly, I can't wait to celebrate us every day. I love you. By the power of that love and commitment to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now share your first married years. The core of this relationship has not at all faltered, in fact strengthening to the point of taking that next beautiful step of marriage. Manny, you are now her protector. Take care of her, please. You will. I know you will. Through the highs and the lows, cherish each other through each new day and take every opportunity to grow, not only in yourselves, but especially through your own relationship. So when my brother came back, you know, and he met the lovely Jennifer, you know, I've never seen him happier. The only time I've ever seen him really happy is when there's like a big piece of cake in front of him. <laughs> and I will have to say, the time I have spent with Jennifer, it's been amazing. She's always welcomed me into her home, you know. Even though her pasta kind of tastes like it was dumped in the sink a little bit, but, and we toast for the newlyweds that any challenges that they may face, may they do so with strength, courage, and with a smile on their face. God bless and congratulations. Our relationship has been filled with compassion, understanding, and a deep bond that reaches further than just best friends, but a true connection that's hard to even put into words. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make.